Okay, so we'll be looking at how to measure capacitance and resistance in this video. Uh, now, sometimes it's, uh, it may be necessary in order for you to find a capacitance of a capacitor. Let's start with capacitors first. Um, because the number may not be either clearly written on the capacitor or sometimes it's just a little bit of a hassle to uh, go ahead and calculate uh, the actual value of the capacitor on there or sometimes the component is just so small it you just won't, uh, it's difficult for you to read the uh, number on there so what you can do is you can use a capacitance meter and inside of this multimeter there's a capacitance meter in here and you can use a capacitance meter to find the capacitance of a capacitor now for this uh, capacitance meter in order to check capacitance we need to turn the dial over on this side over here where we see FCX that's uh, the area where we're going to be doing the uh, capacitance checking. All right. Uh, if you happen to have a uh, capacitor meter that does the auto ranging, you wouldn't have the dial. You wouldn't need. Uh, you wouldn't have these multiple range settings here. You'd just be able to use the. Just turn it to the capacitor setting and be able to check the capacitance. But for this one, there it doesn't have auto ranging, so you'd have to adjust the capacitance. Uh, range as we go along okay uh, also I would like to point out to you in this uh, meter the capacitance in order to check capacitance you need to use these two uh, ports here uh, as you can see down here it says CX indicates capacitance so you'd use and it's connected or it's showing a line going to both of these ports so you need these two ports in order to uh, check the capacitance now when you're checking capacitance, um, the length of the wire um, or the length of the cable that you're going to be connecting into the ports are important. So typically uh, if the ports are far apart like this and they require wire or, or uh, cables, terminals, uh, not terminals, but the probes in order to do so, typically they'll send their own or they'll give you uh, wires that are appropriate for capacitance checking and for this meter it just happens to be this one rather than the much longer uh, probes that uh, you may have seen me using in some of the uh, earlier videos so let's go ahead and connect our uh, probes into the terminals here or the ports here in order to check my capacitance all right and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this capacitor first now on this capacitor the amount of capacitance is actually written on here and it is one microfarad so we can start with this just to see uh, how accurate the um, capacitance meter is all right and so I've connected my cables already let's go ahead and turn our capacitance meter on on this one we need to hit the power on some once you change the once you change the range here it automatically turns on but for this one you, it, there's an actual separate power uh, button all right so when it comes to the capacitance meter, it's important that when you're connecting it to the capacitor, after you've connected it, do not touch the the uh, the ends of the uh, probe there, because what will happen, you'll notice that the capacitance actually changes on there. When I release it, capacitance goes to zero, but if I touch it with my fingers, it goes up. So make sure you're not touching the capacitor when you're checking the capacitance, all right? So let's go ahead now and connect our capacitor to the probes here. So that's one end connected. And then let's go and touch the other, uh, connect the other end here. And let's see what our capacitance meter says. So what this says now is that our range is too low for this capacitor. And we know that because it's a one microfarad capacitor and this is two nanofarads. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this now to the uh, 2 microfarad uh, range. So what this is saying is that the maximum capacitance I'm expecting is 2 microfarads. And as you can see, the capacitance is reading on here as 1.044 uh, microfarads. And again, if I touch them, if I touch the uh, cables, it might offset it just a little bit. So you don't want to touch it. You just want to let it be. Okay. Um, so that's how we would check capacitance. Uh, let's say, for instance, we have a capacitor, though, where the value isn't uh, explicitly uh, written on the capacitor. So we have this one here, and all it has written on here is 12. 
and if you know how to c uh, convert the uh, the number 12 to the actual capacitance then this is not a, a problem but if you don't uh, you can actually uh, use the capacitance meter to figure this out now I do have uh, videos on my actual website where I actually go through and explain how to calculate the capacitance based off of just the number that's written on here but for this we're not going to go through that all right so again we're going to go ahead and connect our capacitor meter to our capacitor and again make sure that you are not touching the middle all right and so what we see here now is that this here is not precise enough where it's still showing zero zeros so chances are what happening is what's happening is that the capacitance is significantly lower than what's written on here okay all right so what this is saying now is that the capacitance of this capacitor here again i'm not touching the actual metal or, or on the capacitor or on my probe and what this is saying is that the capacitance is approximately zero i mean part yeah 0 0.010 nanofarad okay that's 0 0.10 nanofarad okay so that's how you would go about checking uh the capacitance and again see now i'm touching it with my finger and because this is significantly more of a uh a precise setting or or a smaller setting the capacitance is actually affected by me touching it with my fingers so that's all was happening there i was just removing it with my fingers there okay so that's how you check the capacitance uh of a capacitor using the capacitance uh meter all right so now let's take a look at checking for resistance for resistance now we want to go back to our uh longer probes that typically come with the with the uh, multimeter all right and since we're checking resistance if you notice down here in the lower right i have the ohms setting or or omega the greek letter omega this is where we want to connect our red cable okay and we want to connect our black cable here to common uh, for this you can actually switch it around it does not make a difference uh, you cannot have negative capacitance so you can switch it around either which way you want to and it will not make a difference all right okay so now that we have those two connected down there we want to move our setting here to uh, ohms and our ohm setting is down here at the bottom okay our ohm setting is down here at the bottom so here we have a, a resistor and on this resistor the resistor colors are brown black and red brown black and red turns out to be a 1k ohm resistor and it has a uh, gold band at the very end if you want to know how to read the color code on there you you can uh actually go to my website again or actually i should have a video on here on youtube that actually goes through that and you can actually find that video all right but for checking uh, ohms uh, on my ohm meter and now with the ohm meter you can actually touch the ohm meter with your fingers that is uh, perfectly fine oops and I haven't changed my dial here to ohms yet so since we know it's a 1k I'm going to go with a maximum of 2k as my uh, setting here maximum range here and you'll notice that and I'll pull this down what it's saying is that the actual resistance within here is actually 0.993 k ohms and that actually works out and it's actually within our uh, five percent tolerance for a um, for a resistor with a gold band on it okay so that's how you check ohms and again with the resistors you can actually touch it that's perfectly fine it won't affect it uh, significantly all right so that's uh, resistor number one and just to emphasize or to uh, give it just another activity we have a 4700 uh, ohm resistor again gold band and in this case 4700 is larger than the 2k 47 is larger than the 2k so if you notice when i actually touch on here it's telling me that the resistance is actually significantly higher than or, or not significantly but, but it's definitely higher than the range that we're in so we need to change this to the 20k ohm range and let's go ahead and touch this now again and you'll notice that it says here 4.64 and up here it says kilo ohms 4.64 kilo ohms all right so that is how you would go about checking uh resistance 
and capacitance using an ohm meter or a uh, and a capacitance meter ohm meter for resistance capacitance meter for capacitance uh, in a multimeter or if you have them separately in their own ohm meter or or a capacitance meter